Hello, in this video I am going to be giving you some quick tips on how to present to diagnose and potentially resolve an E2 error on your Midia air source heat pump. Uh, E2 is uh, essentially broken down as a communications error between our wired remote controller and our hydro PCB in the outdoor unit. Um, most common cause of this is, uh, especially on new installs, are because there's a five core cable that runs between the outdoor unit and the remote controller. It's quite easy when you've got that many cores to get them crossed. So always check that you're matching up the terminals on the outdoor unit to the terminals on the indoor unit. Especially um, now because um, some of the new versions of the media controller have the terminals in a different order to what they are in the outdoor unit. So if you're only matching colour for colour in order, you would then be getting it wrong because on the back of the controller they swapped the X and the E, um, but not swapped it on the outdoor PCB. So just make sure you really match them up letter for letter. Um, another cause of this um, would be if the commu communication cable is broken or um, the connection was loose on any of those terminals and also um, if you were running the communication cable near a strong source of electromagnetic interference like a big transformer or a big fl fluorescent lamps which is unlikely but how I've seen it. Um, and also when you're not using screen cable, which you should be using screen cable, if you're running it adjacent to mains voltage cables, that can also cause you some interference. Um, so <clears throat> to create the fault on this unit, I've literally just swapped the X and the E. So if I swap that back now, this unit will run quite happily. Um, but um, now I'm going to show you with multimeter how to test the terminals on the hydro board to make sure that they so make sure that the PCB isn't faulty. Right, so to test um, either the hydro main PCB or the refrigerant PCB, um, you're going to need to turn the power off, like I've done so here. You're going to unplug this little red plug that we mentioned before. You're going to want to set your multimeter on the ohm setting or resistance. And then you're going to want to take a reading from Q to P, which is the top and the bottom pin on that plug. And you should see that the resistance is about 120 ohms. I'm getting about 113 here, so I know that that's good. And then what you should also get if you go E to P, you should get an open circuit, which as you can see here, I do. And then if you go E to Q, you should also get infinity, which I do here. So we know that board's okay. So I'd plug that in and I'd repeat that again on the refrigerant hydro PCB, uh, the refrigerant PCB, sorry. Again, exactly the same as I just did then. P to Q, E to Q, we should see 120 ohms, which we do, 124 there, spot on. And then P to E, I've got OL, infinity. And then E to Q, I also have OL, infinity. So we know that both of these boards are okay here.